adults face many challenges. One of the most daunting is their loss of independence when they can no longer drive or manage their own transportation. Even the task of maintaining an auto and pumping gas can be a real challenge to someone who's never had to do this before. Automobile-related tasks, once performed by a spouse, now represent one more challenge to a person who wants to remain as independent as possible. A group of caring individuals in the upstate town of Albion, New York, located in Orleans County, is doing its share to help older drivers keep their automobiles full of gas, while at the same time forging new friendships that strengthen the bonds of this rural community. I'm uh, one of the three guys uh, who started this Albion Betterment Commi Committee, ABC. And uh, one of the things that B Gary brought up was this, this concept of uh, providing uh, gas pumping for senior citizens. And uh, we all supported it heartily. Uh, of course, Gary is the, the, main, the main tag here. Well, we started the program in February of 2004. Uh, as part of an effort to make this, this area more senior friendly, uh, give senior citizens a break. Uh, lots of older ladies in particular around here, but not just older ladies, uh, men too, who um, have difficulty uh, moving around and uh, taking care of filling their tanks and checking their oil and uh, cleaning their windshields and things like that. The program has been going on for about seven years and started in conjunction with my former director, Grace Denniston. Um, and it's, the guys have been here faithfully every Wednesday for about seven years now. When you're getting older, whether you like it or not, this is a real treat because running in and out and paying the money and then coming back out and then it just gets a little bit too much when you're almost 68 and going on 90s. <laughs> I'm 85 years old. I don't like to get out of the car and pump my gas. I come here and these kids are wonderful. They, kids, to me they're kids. They pump the gas, they wash my windshield. If I need change or anything, they go in the garage, they get it for me. They're great, they're great. They, and, they, and then they give you money back. We give the rebates, the volunteers give the rebates uh, themselves, and uh, we also give, have a lucky winner most weeks where we give them $10 of free gas. $29.55 worth, and they gave me 35 cents back out of their own pocket. Out of their own pocket. Pretty good deal. Nice, nice men. Oh. Yes, they are. These guys are unbelievably loyal, dedicated. Um, they're always here. If they're not here, they call me, usually the night before or even before that. Then I got volunteers who uh, wouldn't miss it. Uh, one of them drives 45 miles to come here every Wednesday just to pump gas. I've lived here all my life, and recently, actually December, I moved to Arondequoit, which is 45 miles one way from here. So I travel 90 miles round trip just to come here and for the two hours we're here. But uh, I've got so used to being here and with these guys and all the people that we help out that I just enjoy coming. And I come here because, you know, these people need help. And it makes me feel good to give back to the community for, you know, all the things that these seniors have done for the people here all these years. So we're just giving back. It's very important that communities get involved, especially in support of senior citizens. Uh, most, most of these people have dedicated their lives uh, to the community, uh, and uh, they, they can use a little help, especially when it comes to uh, gas pumping in the winter. And uh, I think this, this effort uh, shows a little bit of uh, appreciation for their, their being in the community. They're very appreciative of what we do. They'll th they thank me when they're not even here. Uh, when I see them at church, they'll say, thanks for doing such a good job, that type of thing. The seniors that come here are not only come for the gas, they can pump their own gas, a lot of them, but I think it's the socialization that they're lacking. And so they come to see Gary and see the guys and, and uh, get, talk to someone for a few minutes and just find out what's going on in the community. There are other elderly people that also come a little early stating that, uh, you know, oh, other guys here, yeah, and, uh, but they do look forward to it on Wednesdays. My friend Gary here, uh, since I met him up here, I, I, I like coming up talking to him because 
I think he was a little bit late this morning because he usually beat me here. I was about to pump my own gas and he stopped me, so. <laughs> so that's why I like, I just like coming up socializing with him. In, in the course of uh, serving people often every week, uh, we get to know them pretty well. A lot of the women that come here are gentlemen that have, we've gotten to know over the years. Uh, talk to us about their daily activity. Some of them talk sports. Just, you know, regular social talk like you talk to your friends, you know. Volunteers are always women. Women are doing all the work. This is so nice. These are men. These, they're out here volunteering. They're giving their time and they're giving their smiles. And I think a lot of people like that. Senior citizens find themselves isolated more and more in their own homes. They don't have as many reasons to go out, they don't have as many people to come and visit them, and so any reason to get out is a good thing. And the doctors and medical community are finding it, it's much healthier for them to be out and see, meet, see people and meet with people and talk to people. It's just going above and beyond, and, and it's a caring service because there are many, many people who really not only enjoy it, but need it. For more information about the Senior Gas Pumping Day, contact Gary Kent at the Albion Betterment Committee. I'll tell you one thing, they better do something to change the price of gasoline. <laughs>